Hello, in the video coming up, we'll be looking at Chrome browser bookmarks. Now you might be thinking bookmarks are nothing new, and that's absolutely true. Bookmarks have been around on browsers for absolute years. But if you're anything like me, you may actually forget that they're there or just stop using them or not use them as good as you could do. And I realized this yesterday when I had a look at my browser. So I opened up my browser yesterday and I realized that, oh yeah, this one here, these are bookmarks here, up the top here. So they're quick links to locations on the internet and they're really useful to have now I realize that yeah I use squoosh on a daily basis it's fantastic for editing or minimizing images file size rather than the actual dimension size but you can do that as well I believe but I don't do that in squoosh anyway apart from that so with bookmarks you I've got the squoosh there and I've got these here which I don't reuse a lot but I do but a lot of these, I was thinking, what are these? Now, I've actually gone in and deleted quite a few. And I'm going to delete all of them today and then show you from scratch how to use them. So don't skip the video. As soon as I do a bookmark thing, oh, now I know how to use it, I'm going to skip the video. So I'm also going to show you other things you can do bookmarks to get even more out of them. So they are really useful. Instead of sitting here and going to websites that you visit every day, sort of like you might go to the BBC, or you might go to CNN or Facebook, for example. Facebook's a good example because you might go to Facebook every day, but then do you click on your profile once you go into Facebook every day? So that's a two-step process. You're having to type in the web address and then you're having to go and click on your profile or go and click on your messages. So with bookmarks, you can actually bookmark that, that specific page. So instead of just bookmarking Facebook homepage, you could go into Facebook go to your profile and then bookmark from there. So it is really useful. And I'm gonna show you now exactly how they work. So as you can see, there's a list here and I've got them going across here like that. Now, if I want to, I can rearrange them. So I could put that there and that will go there like that. If I want to, I could delete them. So I just could just right click on one and just click delete and that will remove that bookmark but as you'll see the bookmarks go all the way across the page which is fine you can have as many as you like and then here there's an arrow and that's because there's more now these are the list of bookmarks which cannot fit on this bar here so all of these fit on and then you've got these extra bookmarks here so for example if I wanted to I listen to radio to quite a lot um, during the day um, when I'm working so if I wanted to move that up I could just simply hold it down my left mouse button and drag it further up the bar like that for example I could put it into position 2 so I've got Radio 2 listen live and that's a really good example as well because to get to Radio 2 I'd have to visit the BBC website then I'd have to go into sounds and I'd have to go into radio then I'd have to find a radio station I wanted to listen to so it's really good to see that you can do it that way so this is the list here now if you want to see the complete list just right click on here and go to bookmark manager and that will show you all of your bookmarks and as you can see they're in order because that's the first one that's the second one and so on now you can also change the orders in here so if we say moved adsense up to there into third place if we then opened up a new browser you would see it's there. So it's you can move them around in here, or you can also move them around in Bookmark Manager. Bookmark Manager is good to see all of the bookmarks that you have. So what I will do, what I want to show you is, if you right click on one as well, just so you quickly see, um, again, you can delete it or you can edit it. So if it's changed you, where you want it to go to, you can change the URL in here. And I would also strongly recommend changing these as well. Like you can see, I haven't there at all. So this, when you bookmark a page, it's just used a whole page. Now to bookmark a page, what I'll do first is I'll remove these. So like I said, I can either do it this way, delete, delete, can do it that way, or I can just go in and do it this way. So I'll leave that one. I think I need that one. 
Um, I don't want to delete all of them. So let's just delete that one. I delete that one. I'm going to delete them until we get to a stage where that is no longer showing because at the moment there's just one left to show on that list. So I'll click on that one and press delete. And there we go. And that's gone because they now all fit on the, the bar there. Now, if I wanted to say go to squish, just simply click on that and it's a much quicker way of getting to the apps that you want to use. So it is really useful. And I would recommend trying to use it more because I, I, I realized that it, it would really benefit me if I actually start using bookmarks a lot more. But you can actually do more. So first of all, I'll show you how to do a bookmark just in case you don't know. But then I'll also show you how you can arrange these even better than this here. So if we went to say, I'll just go to the BBC and let's go to weather, for example. And if we wanted to bookmark there, we could bookmark there, or you could go even further. So I could say London, and then I could bookmark from there. So if I bookmark from here, just that star there, click on that, and it's giving you the option. When we're busy, usually we don't mess about with this, we just go, well, done, which is fine. But here you could just put, instead of the London BBC weather, you could just put, Weather, London. And then you've got here your folder, bookmarks bar. I, you can leave it as that, that's fine, or you can choose another one. I'll show you folders in a minute. And then if you press done on there, then if you close that down and you'll now see we've got here, Weather, London. So there's usually two sort of things that you'd want to bookmark. Pages that you visit regularly, or web pages you visit which are really interesting to you. So some, sometimes you get onto web pages on any different type of website and there's so much information on there that is really useful for you now and in the future. And they're the sort of pages that you'd want to bookmark as well. So that's where I think we need to start looking at folders because if you don't, you will just get a list. Like I had such a long list and I was like, I can't even be bothered look, looking at what they are. I haven't got the time, so I just deleted them. If I if I put more effort into them at the beginning, they would have made more sense. So bookmark manager, for example, here we've got that. If I right click here or here, it doesn't really, oh, it doesn't matter where you do it. So you can't do it there. If you right click here, just put add new folder. And if I put, um, anything, I don't know, um, excellent articles. So I could do that. And that's gone in the bookmark, bookmarks bar there. Or you could do other things, say if you're doing um, a, a course or something, or a degree, and you need something, you could just put here, another one, add new folder, and you could just put um, degree, like that. And then if you wanted to, you could then go into there and create a new folder, um, year one, like that. So it actually manages it very similar to how you'd manage your files on File Explorer. So it's really good. And then for example, if you found an article that was suitable for your year one information, you just bookmark it. And when you bookmark it like that, you would put it in here and you've got here degree year one, which is the one you'd want and you just press done. So it's really good for that. Now, another reason why it's good to use um, folders and I'll show you a different way to do them. You can also do them on here. Instead of having this list here, a lot of these, for example, are for my blog, a lot of these things here. So I could just create a folder, add folder, and call it blog, just press save. And there you can see that blog's there. Again, I can move it around, but what I could do is I could just put search console into there, just drag and drop. And I could put that into there, drag and drop, manager that into there like that. Like that that's a duplicate, so I can remove that, delete that. Um, all of these, see a lot of these are for my blog. 
um, and these are the ones we've just done here. So there what you can see is instead of having a list of them, you could have a list of folders. So you could have blog like I've got, or you could have social media. And under social media, you click on there and you could have Facebook, you could have Instagram, any other type of social media that you use. And you can do that. If, if Imagine if you do that, you would be so organized with inside your Chrome browser. And I, I really do think from a productivity point of view, this is excellent. It's a really good way of keeping on top. And with web pages, it's so easy to forget web pages that you go to. I, I read so much information on the, on the internet. It's crazy. Most of it, I, I read lots of news, but most of the information I, re, I read is technical stuff or blogs when I've got issues with my blogs. Um, and you, there's always issues with my blog, so you always have to read information and you've really got to get into detail. So and there's so many great articles that I, I read and then I forget about them and it's because I'm not bookmarking them. So really get into bookmarking. And if you use these folders, you really can get this into an excellent way of managing. So here, I'm now going to put image software or image apps. I'll put image apps because it's smaller. And if I save that, I can immediately go, right, well, Squoosh can go into there and that there can go into there like that. And then put that at the front there. Oh, just put that at the front there like that. That didn't work, why not? Just hold it and drag it over like that. And there we go, I've got all my image apps in one location got all my blog information in one location. So I'm not having to mess about, first of all, typing in web addresses or even, oh, I forgot the web address. But I'd also recommend, I would highly recommend not just doing it for websites that you visit regularly. I would do it, for example, if you are studying a course, this here is great. You know, you've got your degree and then you've got your year one and then you've got your bookmarks, your year two. And it's something you can go back to. So it's, it's a really useful tool and I think it's massively underused by people. I think we could make a lot more, make things a lot easier for ourselves if we use bookmarks. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.